Hello everyone and welcome to this reading. Ooh, that is high. All right. All right, so just use some um, peppermint. Yay. All right, so this reading is going to be a little bit different. It is hot in here. I spent a lot of time gathering all the information that I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. So I hope you guys like this setup. Um, it's kind of hard to see everything on the table and I don't feel like moving the camera. So I'm going to go like right here. Okay, there we go. All right. So thank you guys for joining in, watching the video. I'm going to still fan because it feels hot in here. All right. So this is for the new moon in Sagittarius and I'm going to pull some cards. I feel like I wanted to grab um, another set of cards. I feel like I want to do that. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Let me run and go grab it. I like to have everything ready that I need, but sometimes it doesn't happen that way. <laughs> okay, I wonder what this was for. Okay, so I also got the playing cards. Okay, all right. So in the December video, I've always wanted to order this card deck. Um, and I got a reading online on Instagram with uh, someone I've been watching for years on YouTube. And then when Instagram came out, then she got on Instagram. The Wildwood Tarot. So I've always wanted to check this out. I'm happy I got it. So I'll feature it in the next, um, in the next video. All right. So the way I'm going to do this read is I'm going to do the elements first okay so it's going to be the earth sign first then the air sign then fire and then water okay so the new moon in sagittarius the new moon is the time to start something new right and it's going to be four degrees two minutes okay in sagittarius and that's november 26 okay and i'm doing pacific standard time all right, so a lot of information to cover, so we'll get on it. All right, so this moon is all about optimism, okay? And that's Sagittarius's mind. They're very optimistic, okay? So five of staves just popped out, if that means anything to anyone. All right, so they're very optimistic and very very much on the line of thinking that things will be positive and thinking it into reality okay so the only thing is to be careful of not just aspiring to seek the higher self but actually implement it in everyday life okay all right so that's really important i packed away a lot of my crystals I want to share with you the crystals before I go into it. This is a pendant. This is a smaller one. I got this in um, New Orleans when I was there. Um, I bought it from this guy that was selling on uh, Canal Street. And there's a bigger one that I have. Um, small quartz right here. See that? Okay. Obsidian. Yeah. Okay. And this is a salt rock. Really like this. And then for my meditation and yoga, well, for my, my Reiki video, this is a wand. At one end is, um, is purple. You can see it. One end is amethyst. The other end is a crystal. And I got this at the Reiki shop um, years ago from my Reiki teacher, my Reiki master, Donna. Um, and at her shop where we practice, where I, I used to do massage therapy, Reiki, this is way back in the early 2000s like 2002 yeah 
2001-2002. Yeah. So those are my crystals that I have lined out for you guys. All right. So we're going to start off with the earth sign, right? Because it's the new moon in Sagittarius. So what's your intention? It has to be an optimistic mind. It's the winter season, so it's a dark season. Um, people tend to be more um, depressed during this time. So we want to keep the mind optimistic, okay? And we want to be, again, grateful for everything that we have. So let's start with I don't want to forget anything that I want to mention to you guys. We'll, we'll, we'll get to all of that, all of that later as I go. So you want to be, have faith in yourself. You want to be positive. You want to think about how you can expand your life, right? Not just seek the higher self, like I said, but actually um, apply it in your life, right? Because Sagittarius is fire and they, they, they are motivated, motivating and they can motivate others. So we want to make sure that what we're doing is um, in alignment with what we're saying. Okay? All right. So let's start with the earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, for this new moon, your focus is materializing manifesting the things that you want onto the material plane if you will okay so it's like really getting what you want either the foundation or or actually manifesting your own space your own home your own whatever it is that you want feeling successful um overcoming any battles battles you have okay nine of <clears throat> nine of pentacles five of swords and two of cups okay so it's really manifesting your own having your own and feeling that that you have that and that's something that you can be proud of okay and also it's it's you feeling empowered or powered okay to do the things that you want to do all right now some of you might be going through a battle or a fight and that's like you feeling like you can win your battle you can win whatever it is that you're going through and going after your victory whatever that personal victory is but make sure that that you're not holding on to um that that type of judgment okay and some of you might be going through a commitment a relationship okay um a marriage or some kind of more serious relationship okay at this new moon so whatever it is if it's owning your own place feeling more empowered or feeling like you um win your victory especially in your birthday season coming up in uh end of november december when you're in your season that's your time to really manifest okay some of you might be getting married or getting more committed okay let's pull a playing card Okay, so for you guys, it's 10 of diamonds, and it's all about any kind of financial success coming soon, which I feel goes along really well with the nine of, um, pen of the nine of pentacles. Okay, um, so it's, it's just a, a big, a big sign of money and prosperity. Okay, 10 of diamonds. All right. All right. So another thing that we can look into for this new moon, being that it's in Sagittarius, Gemini can benefit from it too, because Gemini is um, Sagittarius' is opposite sign, all right? And other signs that um, can benefit from, we all can benefit from it, but um, any mutable signs that can um, be very sympathetic to themselves and others and that that makes that person learn faster or learn better okay um adaptability adapting to change feeling uh, flexibility adapting to change that sagittarius virgo pisces and gemini can definitely ben benefit under this new moon in sagittarius but everyone can benefit as well okay so let's go into virgo okay so 
So Virgo is all about overcoming financial difficulties, learning maybe how to share. Uh, Virgo, if you don't want to share your financial uh, situation, figure out why that is. Why is this? Okay. Um, some of you will be losing more than you have. Maybe some of you will be moving or need to actually throw away things, waiting to the last minute to get it done. And now it's piling up. So Virgo can really learn from just, um, practicing every season to get rid of things that you might not need anymore. Okay. Um, and also really finding your fire, finding your drive to go after something that you want and start fresh and start new. And Virgo, you are ruled by Mercury. So this Mercury retrograde is affecting you and Gemini very strongly. But that means that you guys are learning a lot of lessons from this. Okay, Virgo, four of coins, five of cups, another five coming through, and ace of wands. So Virgo, what is another card, the playing cards for Virgo? Okay, two of diamonds. So two of diamonds is good news. Financial investment coming soon. So this is like the future. It's like financial investment. So when when Mercury goes direct on November 20th, um, 11, 12 Pacific Standard Time. Um, so wherever you are for the evening on November 20th is a great time to really feel that shift or to start up either um, just starting up your starting up or talking about what it is that you've been wanting to do even before mercury went retrograde okay so when mercury goes direct you guys will be more up to speaking more whenever mercury is <clears throat> in retrograde the gemini and virgo are more quiet or more, you know, um, whatever they say can really affect, um, not in the way that they would necessarily want it. It just, it's a great time to listen more than to speak. Okay. Capricorn. What can you learn this new moon in Sagittarius? So, okay. So you have the devil card, um, the queen of pentacles and the hangman okay so it's all about you really let me start off with the hangman get the get the um get the message learn the message rather than um repeating the lesson again so really get quiet and make corrections and really be enlightened by anything that you've learned over the last few days okay um, also stay full focus on money. Money is important, but find out why money is important and what you can do to correct something that you're doing that is not benefiting you. If you feel like there's a lack of money. Okay. And maybe there's some kind of a practice you do that drains your money, um, an obsession or something that you're really enjoying, but you're enjoying it too much. So really you have to be the master of whatever it is that you're enjoying. Okay. So finding that balance. So you have five of clubs, okay? And five of clubs indicates um, that you will be making a change. You know, do, do something new, like a new hobby. And that, I feel like, goes in line with whatever is causing the money failure, okay? The five of clubs is like, you know, making a new habit, making a new change. This will benefit you. And that's what... what I like it when the playing cards matches up with the tarot card because it's just reiterating the either new message or um, putting an emphasis on what the cards already said. Okay, earth signs. So the earth signs right now, you are going into, you're leaving water season of Scorpio and heading into the end of November and and December into fire sign. So you can, what you can do is learn how to um, manifest like the fire sign, like the Sagittarius. And that's what all signs can do. Okay. And being so close to that sign, you can really take advantage of this season. Okay. And especially if you're on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius. Okay. Let's go into the air signs. I'm wondering if it's going to be a long, long upload. OK, 
Okay. So we're pulling for Gemini. So Gemini, it is all about you protecting yourself and protecting you, what you're about, the things that you own or the things that you care about. It's really protecting your energy and 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 having a growth, a learning, so you don't have to relearn again. It's about you being the leader for yourself and really stepping into that um, high priestess role or not even say a high priestess, but basically it is, it's kind of like you controlling your yourself, um, not in a negative way, but just being a, a, a master or a boss of yourself in a sense. And everyone can benefit from that where it's like you're really mastering yourself and you have the answers. You just have to make sure that you're not doing something that is, is, um, benefiting someone else and you're saying yes to them but you're saying no to you okay and and this is pretty cool so also doing something that makes you feel young and vibrant and, and brilliant because you have the page of swords okay you have the hierophant and you have seven of swords so the words words are very powerful um what you're saying and what um, so what someone else is saying really doesn't affect air signs that much because they're very powerful and it's, it's cool that we got the page card for Gemini because Sagittarius um, deals with um, with the pages okay so the page represents a youthfulness okay um, about you um, and you you really have to seek whatever it is that you want and you can gain it you can make it happen all right um okay and if there's someone older that you can learn from that's great but it has to be the right person okay and the the, the pages represent and connect to um 